check this out. I'm gonna do a little how to wrap door panels. So these hot rod door panels, you get stuff like this a lot, where it's old paneling or cardboard or hardboard that people make their own door panels. This is kind of cool because we're gonna do a simple way to put these covers on it. So a lot of times we'll make up these covers and ship them out where they're pre-sewn and you can make your own door panels. This customer sent it in and he wants to reuse them just because he knows they fit the car and doesn't want to change them. So we're gonna go through and wrap one of these and show you what it looks like. I just set it here on the panel to kind of look at it and just get a feel for which way it has to go and all that jazz. And if you look, you can see they already cut these out. So you cut these out so when your welting goes around there, you have your welting. When it goes around, it actually goes in there and doesn't have a bumpy edge. It lines up pretty good, but I still want to cut the Savage off the material here. We're going to trim that. This way, it'll lay a little bit flatter and look a little more professional for them. And that's going to go through. Whenever you cut the Savage, you got to be careful. You do not want to hit a thread. Sometimes your scissors seem good on this side, but they might be at a weird angle on the other side. And if they hit one thread, they're going to unravel it. So I'm going to keep it about, probably about an eighth of an inch away from the stitching. You see there, close, but not too close. Now we'll do this side. Okay, let's see what this looks like. I'm gonna put this back on here now. What I wanna do is just kinda center it. What we're gonna do it, I'm actually gonna look and measure the other side. And what you see here is now, when we pull this welt through here, you can see that that edge, is nice and straight. We're gonna pull that right in there, so that'll be nice and straight. Whereas if we pulled it up here and did it, when you pulled it around there, it's gonna pull tight here and bump out there. What I'm doing here is I'm just trimming these door panels just a little bit more. I didn't like the proportion of pleated material to smooth material, so we made our ooh there he is a little bit bigger. So I'm just gonna make this a little bit tighter here, and then we'll try to wrap it up. Now with these, there's a couple ways you could do it. You could simply pull this around and staple it, which on a door panel like this, where he's gonna screw it in, you could just do that. I'm gonna show you how we do it on a door panel that has push pins that we wanted to fit a little bit better. A lot of times what you'll want is you'll want some foam on this edge. One, to hide the roughness of the edge if there is any. Two, it'll give you a little bit of a puff, like right over here, and then we're gonna staple on this side. So what I'm just gonna do is, and you gotta be super, super careful here with this because we're gonna take a razor blade. And what we're gonna do is measure in about, I would say a half of an inch. And we're just gonna cut just through the sew foam here, right? And we're gonna peel this right off. So we have the foams all trimmed around the edge. I'm gonna put some of our smaller staples in here because we don't have a lot of foam on here we don't wanna go through. And I'm gonna pull this up so I can see the other side. When you're doing this, you always wanna kind of pull this around. And I always kind of move my hand at an angle and roll it. And that'll give you a nice straight edge across the top. You want this material pretty tight. And I'm just gonna bring it over here. We go past our foam. Our foam came up and over. We're just gonna put our staple just past that foam. You always wanna make sure you leave yourself enough room that if you mess up, you could move the material around a little bit. I'm gonna bring it up and we're gonna take a look at it. I'm gonna move over here and do the same thing. Whenever you're pulling, you don't wanna grab with your thumb and just pull it because you'll make a bump there. What you wanna do is you wanna grab with your whole side of your thumb and pull one big piece. You do that right up here. So I grab like this, I'm pulling up and I'm also pulling that way. You keep working this material and making sure it's nice and tight. We don't have any wobbles up top here, or down below actually, just the bottom. So I'm just basically going through the vinyl. You always want to make sure your staples don't go through the foam. Another thing that people will do, which is really bad, is if the staple doesn't go in, they'll take a hammer and hammer it. Once you do that, any staple that's coming through there, if it sticks through, is going to puncture the material. Okay, so now we're at the dreaded corners. I'm going to show you a couple different ways to do them. First, we're going to do the heat and stretch. Get this nice and warm, keeping our hand there because if it's too hot for our hand, too hot for the vinyl. It's always checking our stretch. Get it warm, pretty warm there. I'm gonna pull up this staple here. So on the heat and stretch way, you gotta be careful because you're pulling a lot of material. And you don't want to overpull. 
So what you could do is grab it. I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna grab it and I'm gonna pull it that way towards you a little bit. Put a little staple in there, same thing. Now I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna grab and we're gonna pull that way. So that, that did is move a majority of the material in those directions. Now we're gonna warm it up again. It's nice and warm, it's super stretchy. So give it a little pull, we go staple and a staple. So now we managed to come around and we have nothing there. Now we're gonna try the heat and fold method. So it's similar to the other one. We're just gonna get this nice and warm. And now we can just pull this. And put a staple in the middle. Now we're just going to take this piece and pull it and fold it. And we do the same thing here. Pull this piece, pull it, and fold it. And trim that so you can see what that one looks like. Okay. So here's the heat and fold method. So you can see it's folded. And now, lastly, we're gonna do a heat and trim method. Same thing, we're gonna pull right from the center first, put a staple in, I'm gonna grab our blade. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut a couple of these. I always wanna keep these, so we, ha we have our foam that comes over and comes around, so we wanna keep our Vs that we're cutting past that. So I'll do a few there. We're gonna do one right next to where we're working. And now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pull this a little bit, being careful not to pull it. You wanna pull it at an angle and round it. If you pull, you don't want to pull this one sharp point. So we're gonna pull that. We're gonna put that, fold that one over on top of it. Put a staple in there. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna pull this over, slightly fold it. Staple in it. And this one we don't even have to fold it anymore because it's already right there. So let me trim that and I'll show you what that looks like. So then you have trimmed and folded. Or uh, I'm sorry, yeah, trimmed and folded. All right, so one thing I like to do is at the end, just go through and try to just cut your excess material off nice and straight, and then just make sure you clean it up so it looks nice. Now we're gonna go clean the panel up and show you what it looks like. Now you can see uh, some nice panels to go with this custom seats.